Hey babes, I wanted to talk to you really quickly about mindset and share with you a little way to think about it differently because I think we all struggle with mindset the most. And so what I'm gonna talk about is mindset. Like I just didn't freaking tell you that, right? Get in the right mindset. Clearly I have not gotten there yet. So let me take a deep breath, take a big ass drink of my water. I think you should do the same thing with me. So five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, now. Now we're gonna talk about mindset. Okay, so I want you guys to think about a time when you had a switch, like a flip was switched and you were like, oh my God, I'm in such a great mood or oh my God, I'm in not such a great mood. And because this happens all the time. So I will tell you, I'm gonna share a little story. I woke up the other day, I was feeling great. I was feeling really toned, tied. I'm like three weeks into my workout program. I can tell my abs are getting tighter. I'm just feeling so much better. I'm like, yes, this is working. I'm excited. I'm doing great with my nutrition, you know, all of the things in the right mindset. And I walked by the mirror in my bedroom and I had this black shirt on, um, it was like a V-neck. It was just a plain like old navy shirt you know nothing fancy with a pair of jeans and i didn't have any shoes on so i looked you know a little bit shorter than usual usual and i was like oh my god i look kind of chubby today i'm like mm, i look a little thick and instantly my mood had completely changed i went from this kind of happy feeling good about myself person to immediately feeling like i this isn't working this program isn't working for me i feel fat today uh, what am I going to do? Like I went and looked at another mirror. I'm like, oh, this one also, like I just look bad today. And you know what? In that moment, I was like, stop that shit. Like, don't do that to yourself. Because if we can have that immediate flip of going from a positive to a negative, you can do the same thing with a negative to a positive. What I found a lot of times is that most people have more of a negative mindset. Again, it's nothing against you. It's this thing called critics math, okay? Say for example, you put a post up and you're feeling yourself that day. You're like, I'm feeling pretty, I feel good. You put it up there, you put it out into the universe and you get like 20 people who are like, oh babe, you look beautiful. You look so good. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, your hair looks great. You look what, oh my God, your eyes are so pretty. Thank you. Like you feel good just hearing those things, right? And then you have that one person who's your aunt Sharon and she's an evil bitch. And she totally was like, you know, you really shouldn't wear that much makeup. And you immediately they're like, son of a bitch, she's right. I look awful. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put that up there. I'm not gonna post anymore. It is that immediate thing. It's, and we focus on that one person instead of the 20 other people who told us how beautiful we were. And the person inside of our head who also is like, you are beautiful, you got this. We ignore that and we focus on the one thing. It is normal, it is human, it is frustrating, but it is totally okay, it is totally normal. So what do you have to do? You have to flip the switch because if you can immediately go to the negative, you can also immediately go to the positive. But it takes more work, unfortunately, but there's still hope. So here's what I did the other day when I had that moment of you chubby little thing, what is wrong with you? Again, don't don't talk to yourself like that. Don't talk to yourself self like you would not talk to your daughter. So if you would, would you tell your daughter Oh my God, honey, you look chubby today. Like, no, you would never do that. So don't talk to yourself that way. You have that good mindset, put it in your brain and don't let anybody tell you differently. So the other day when this happened and I experienced this, I'm like, damn girl, I was not feeling, I was feeling myself and then I wasn't feeling myself. So what I did in that moment was I went, I put on some makeup, I freshened up my hair, I changed my shirt and I put on some shoes. I did a, a just kind of a reset of my look and I did not look in the mirror. I did not go back to looking in the mirror until later on in that evening, but I reset myself in that moment. And I had just a totally different mindset because I was, I was so frustrated, you guys. And I know you guys have felt this way too. You know, where you put on those pair of pants, you're like, these jeans are gonna fit today. I know they are, you put them on, you're like, oh my God, I'm bloated, I'm on my period. I'm getting ready to start, like, this is awful. This is worse, I, I'm gonna stop. Stop my, you know what? I'm just going to go eat the cookies right now because this is not working. Like this is so stupid. And you, we sabotage ourselves all the time. We do this all the time. And I'm telling you, you can get past this. So the next time you have a moment where you're feeling like great or, or maybe you're feeling really great and it's been three days in a row and you keep stepping on the scale in the morning and it's pissing you off because you don't like the number that you see or the scale isn't budging, but you're still doing all the things. 
maybe you just take a few days off of the scale. You keep your non-scale victories, which are things like your pants are fitting looser, or you just feel really pretty that day. Like your makeup is in point. You contoured like a badass, like whatever it is that makes you feel great. And you keep focusing on that thing. So that's my mindset for you guys today. I was so frustrated the other day when I felt that I'm like, oh, I need to think about how I can express, express this to you guys so that you can understand that you guys can have a positive mindset. I will tell you, I've done so many things over the years of people, you know, telling me what my pot, what my things are that I do or what I'm good at, because we all want to know what we're good at. The one thing that I've consistently heard over my 36 years of life is that I'm a positive person. I can see the silver lining in anything. And so you bring something to me, I'm going to give you a positive spin on it, no matter what it is. I mean, if you're, I, I don't even want to go into the negative things because we'll all go off on a tangent. I don't want to do any trigger warnings or anything, but I'm just telling you, you guys, you can get past this. You can develop a positive mindset. It takes flexing that positive muscle over and over again, saying, if you're looking at yourself in the mirror saying, I'm beautiful, I'm kind, I'm smart. I am the best person. I'm just, I'm a beautiful person inside and out. You just talk to yourself again, as if you would talk to your best friend, your daughter, your mom, your sister, whomever that person is that you love that you would give them an honest opinion. You tell, you tell them, you tell yourself just like you would that person you love so much. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you have a fantastic day. Let me know if this helped you at all. Share it with a friend if it helps you at all. That's what I'm here for is to help you guys. So love you, bye.